Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create an interactive dashboard in Excel in less than 5 minutes. Okay, now first thing, uh, what is an interactive dashboard? It is usually a report that contains several charts that can change dynamically as the users are selecting different inputs such as month, salesperson, or products, this example below. Dashboard is usually a collection of charts showing important key drivers. In this case, I'm showing you sales dashboard. We have a chart showing sales by month, uh, another chart showing sales by salesperson, one, two, three, four, five, and another chart showing sales by product, product one, two, three. And then on the left, we have slices. We have three slices or filters uh, by month, by salesperson, and by, by products. In an interactive dashboard, a user can select different months by clicking it. Yeah, so for example, you can click January uh, and the charts on the right changes. Yeah. Now um, you can click February and again the charts change. Um, and you click March, the charts change again. Uh, it, it is only showing March related sales by salesperson and March related sales by product. Yeah. And if you want to, you can clear the filter. And you can also filter by salesperson. Salesperson one, um, how was his sales by month, January, February, and March, or by product, yeah. and so on and so forth. Uh, again, you can clear the filter, uh -huh, and you can filter by product. Product number two, um, what's the sales trend? Oops, it's going down. Product number three, oh yeah, it's growing. And you want to see all products? Again, clear the filter. So that's uh, an example of sales dashboard. Now that you have seen an interactive dashboard in action, some of you may think, wow, can Excel report really do that? Isn't that something that you get out of Power BI, Click, Tableau, or Cognos? Mm, yeah, we can create an interactive dashboard in Excel. Not only that, I will show you how to create one in less than five minutes. In order to be able to create an interactive dashboard in less than five minutes, you need to know the secret. And the secret lies in knowing the required five steps. Yeah. So firstly, firstly is about data. The data must be structured in the right way, like this. You need to have a column for salesperson, a column for products, a column for unit, a column for sales, and a column for month. So secret number two is to create charts from pivot table. Yeah. Now in the dashboard, we have three charts. So naturally, we need to have three pivot tables. We need to have one pivot table for sales by month, one pivot table for sales by person, and one more pivot table for sales by product. Secret number three is to create slicers from the pivot tables. Probably well, just go insert and then hit slicer and basically click the slicers that you want to create, uh, which is in, in our case, we want slicer for salesperson, product, and sales. That's how you create a slicer. And then step number four is uh, to copy all the charts and slicers from the previous tabs into, into the dashboard tab. Just copy them in here. And then after that, you the next step is to link the slicers to the charts. Easy way to do that. All you need to do is right click, report connection, and make sure all these tick boxes will all tick. Because if they're not tick, it means that these slicers are not yet linked to the charts. Now that you know the secret, let's get started and recreate the dashboard together. All right, so let's get started. Mm -hmm. by using our data to create our first pivot table. Let's create pivot one, sales by month. So you put sales. That's sales by month. Format it nicely. Our first chart. 
and then let's hide the button delete all this unnecessary stuff click delete rename month delete that legend we don't need that and right click add label let's copy ctrl c and paste the pivot table change it make it into sales by salesperson and then create insert a horizontal chart right order button and rename and delete unnecessary stuff click delete done and then copy that give a table which is the uh, click the field list sales by product uh, insert pie chart right and then lid and then uh, add data labels uh, format data labels and add the category name you can see it uh, lovely and all charts done let's create the slicer uh, you go click the pivot table and then insert uh, slices and we want by product by salesperson and by month click OK click them Control X put them on our dashboard page and put by month on top and then followed by by salesperson and then followed by by product nice and then now we want to copy the uh, chart go by product can be there you want by month first and then sales person by product nicer this size now we've got spare time so let's make it more beautiful I forgot to do one more thing this is not interactive yet only one is changing so we have to um, right click and create connection to all charts so click report connection to all charts And then now they're interactive everything is changing here when you but so now uh, clear that let's color a little bit beautiful oops beautiful okay we're done and yeah we have done this together in under five minutes hope you have learned something useful today and that you will start creating an interactive dashboard in excel in your day-to-day -day life as i'm sure it will surely surely help you to be more efficient and effective at work next week i will be posting a new video about what if scenario analysis in Excel in less than one minute. In the meantime, remember to subscribe and see you next time.